Okay, today I've decided that I am going to build a full wardrobe. I'll probably have a cabinet here and I'll be able to hang clothes. I'll have a cabinet here to put any folded stuff. And then down below I'll have another cabinet where I can put uh, shoes and whatnots. So anyway, uh, that's the plan for today to build a cabinet here in this spot. So let's get started. So my plan is is to run some battens across here and down here and out towards the front and uh, then I'll end up going across and there'll be a full piece of plywood here on this side and then I'll run my battens across the top to the ceiling and, uh, and then I'll worry about the shelving. So I've got to fit a piece of plywood against here all the way to the ceiling. And I've got my wheel well here so I have to notch that out. So I've cut a piece of plywood all the way to the ceiling. And then what I'm going to do is mark a line right across here and down. I'll cut that out. That will slide all the way over and that will be the completion of that wall. And uh, looks like it's gonna looks like it's gonna fit pretty nice okay let's get to cutting okay here's what I've got so far I got my battens run down the side that's what I'm going to use to fasten my board against here the plywood got the battens run down here so the the bottom of the cabinet sets rest on that and then I got my bat battens on the floor which uh, I'm going to put a well, I don't know what you want to call it, fascia if you want, but uh, I'm going to make that a three inch border all the way around. I'll have another shelf about 36 inches probably from the ground here. And then uh, I'll fasten the side on here and then I can fasten the front. And then I'll take a router and route out my, my cabinet openings. But that's what I've got right now and uh, so far it's looking pretty good. So, moving on. I think I have to make a store run so I can get some more screws. Yep, stay tuned. Most excellent. It's always a good thing to pre-drill your holes because you end up splitting your wood if you don't. Keep, uh, keep the face of this nice and flat. I don't want to screw it up to the bottom shelf yet because then it sucks it in. And I don't want to do that because I want to keep everything nice and straight. So when I cut my plywood for this side, it'll be nice and flush with this edge. With any luck. So, I need to find me a shim. So I cut this piece three inch for like my header. And my cabinet will be here like this. And I used a pocket hole jig. Drill some holes here on the edge. And then I'm going to take a longer bit. I'm going to pre-drill my holes because I'm going into the end here. I just don't want to split it or have any uh, bad things happen. So.
And then I'll drill these and uh, listen for anything splitting. two more pieces that I want to put on and then uh, I need to get me some more material for the shelving because I don't think I have enough birch to put a shelf one more shelf here I'll have to dig through my scrap and see what I've got and then I can panel this side and then I'll panel the front and then I'll take a router and just route out all my openings and uh, make it nice and clean. Then I'll get me some more birch and I'll use those for my for my doors and I think those are going to look good and I'll put some trim around the edges and uh, call that good. Alright so next step I need to cut two more pieces. Stay tuned. nice and countersunk. parts done. I have one more that's going to go right here. And then this will be my bottom cabinet. And uh, I can throw some boots or shoes in there. And then uh, this will be my wardrobe for my, for my clothes. Alright. So I'm going to drill a couple of pocket hole screws on these sides and go ahead and attach this. Stay tuned. 
Okay, so I've got this one set in, drilled my holes, and uh, went ahead and fastened it to the sides, and uh, looking good. So now all I have to do is put the face on here, take my router and route out the opening. Gives me nice and clean, this will look nice and pretty. All right, okay, stay tuned. Well, this is what I have done so far. I didn't get uh, finished what I wanted to get finished, because I ran out of wood. So, I do have a place for shoes and boots. I do have a place that I'll end up uh, making a wardrobe so I can hang hangers. And then on the top here, I'll probably have another shelf that uh, I'll be able to put some other blankets and things like that. But. This is what I got done today. So let's, uh, it's coming along. Nice fit. It's going to look pretty good. It's going to be cozy. Stay tuned. So, like I said, I didn't get uh, finished what I wanted to get finished today, only because I ran out of the, uh, the birch plywood for my shelf. So, I'm going to put one more shelf in here, and then uh, I'll do the paneling on the sides and on the front, route my openings, and make my cabinet doors and this section will be done then the next section will be the kitchen so um, with that just like uh, every project when you go as far as you can or you completed your project the next step is to clean up so i'm going to put all my tools away and uh, vacuum and be ready for the next time so Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.